YouTube, so you can show here with a review of the Camrider Game Forbidden Ringo Lockseed and Eden Faceplate. So this was a bonus uh, for those of you who bought the Lockseed edition of the DVD or Blu-ray release of the Game Guide and Kamen Rider Zangetsu and Kamen Rider Baron, uh, the cinema movie. So here is a real quick look at uh, the case of the movie. I picked up the Blu-ray version. Uh, because the Blu-ray will actually play in all Blu-ray players. Blu-rays don't have regions. Um, the DVDs do, so I would not be able to play the DVD uh, copy, even though the DVD copy was 10,000 yen. 10,000 yen? 1,000 yen cheaper. There we go. Uh, so it was about uh, probably 8 or so dollars cheaper to get the DVD copy of the movie. But uh, I wanted to be able to play it. There are no subs on the DVD or the Blu-ray uh, copy of the movie, so... Don't go in hoping to be able to read it, because you can't. It does come with two cool little postcards, though, of Baron and Zangetsu, which are very nice. Then a bunch of advertisements, but uh, the postcards are definitely really cool. I like those. And then there's the Blu-ray right there. So uh, two pretty cool little uh, episode-length flicks, if you want to go ahead and uh, take a look at those. I think they're subbed by now by some group or another. Acer is not doing it. But anyway, enough of that. Here is the lock seed, which you guys actually came to see, I imagine. Uh, so this is a forbidden Ringo lock seed, the Apple lock. This is the real Apple lock, uh, for all intents and purposes. Uh, <laughs> says Alice Taboo in the middle, but uh, it does give uh, Baron and Eden the Ringo arms, which is just Apple, Ringo being Apple. And it does come with the Kamen Rider Eden faceplate as well. So this was released in April 2015 for either 7,500 yen or so if you got the DVD, and about 8,600 yen or so if you got the Blu-ray. But a lot of places had discounts and stuff on sets like these, so um, just keep your eyes open. Real quick before we begin, here's a look at the Eden faceplate. Fits in pretty well with the Kamuro and Mars uh, faceplates, since they are also variants of the Ringo arms. And uh, this will play the Baron Come On uh, sound in the Sengoku Driver. That was an awful impersonation, I'm sorry. Uh, but here is the lock seed. Uh, being a deluxe lock seed, you'd have the on and off switch at the bottom and the typical uh, sort of setup for that. This does have some pretty cool um, Kaito phrases uh, in it. Since all the premium lock seeds tend to have uh, actor voices in them, this one is filled with uh, Kaito phrases. LS Taboo right there, since the apple is supposed to be the forbidden fruit, hence the forbidden apple lock seed. Um, it has Taboo on it instead of, like, LS Ringo or whatever. Uh, they stopped numbering these things a while ago. <laughs> uh, but we have the uh, Sword Bringer and the Apple Defender, I think is what they're called, uh, on the inside here. I can't remember what they were called, but... And a typical sort of Apple design up there on top. So pretty cool. That's your activation noise. So nothing simple, it's straight up Kaito. And if you press the button on the back. And it will cycle through that. So, pretty cool. If you activate it... Ringo! Ringo! Ringo Star. Hooray! So anyway, enough of that commonplace joke. Let's go ahead and bring in our Sengoku driver and uh, take a look. Let's go ahead and use the Eden faceplate since it's new. That says Desire of Forbidden Fruits is the transformation jingle on that.
And there we go. So if we want the transformation with the Baron faceplate, we can do that too. There you go. So overall, the Forbidden Ringo Lockseed and Eden Faceplate is a really cool thing to add to your collection. It's unfortunate that the method of getting it is kind of a pain in the butt. You have to get a DVD or Blu-ray that you either can't play or can't understand. If you can understand it, then it's probably an okay purchase at the end of the day. But um, if you're someone who relies on subtitles, then you're not going to get a whole lot into uh, the actual movie itself, but it is something cool to own, I suppose. But if you're just looking to collect the lock seeds, you're going to have to shell out uh, probably about 8,000 yen to 9,000 yen for this thing, uh, which is just a lot of money for a singular lock seed. It does look cool, it does sound cool, um, and I'm sure it is cool in the actual movie. Uh, it's just unfortunate that to get it, you really do have to shell out an arm and a leg for a movie you may or may not actually enjoy. So that is the biggest bummer of the set, but the toy itself is really cool, and for you Loxie completists, it's another one to, well, fight for. So thanks for watching, take care, and have a great one. Bye.